Hey Church, welcome to Daily Devotional. My name is John Bracegirdle. I want to encourage you this morning with, uh, in, in your generosity with one of my favourite scriptures. Let me read it to you. It's from Psalm 92. It says, The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. They will bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming, the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no wickedness in him. I love that planted in the house of, of the Lord, planted in God's house, planted in his church, planted with each one of you guys. We, we, we do life together and our lives will flourish. Let me, uh, let me just go left field here for a minute and let's, uh, I just want to look at a, a scripture in the book of James and it says that the, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So just hold that thought a second. So do you know that we are human beings? God made us in his likeness. We are not human doings. As human beings, it's it's. I like to think of it like it's who we be. It's it's who I am. The the spirit part of me. We tr we are tripart bodies. We are body. We are mind, but we are spirit. And in our spirits, who we be. In, it's it's in our spirits, in that part of us that God's uh, saved us. He's connected His spirit with our spirit. We are we are one with Him. Um, it's where. It's where he, he speaks to us. It's, it's where we've got most of our likeness or the attributes of, of him. So it's where the fruit of the spirit comes from. It's where we are, are kind, we are, we, are, we are good. But it, it's, it's the real part of us. But then if you think of our minds, there's, there's, there's always a, a, a battle going on for, uh, in our minds for what, what God wants or what the, 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 the world wants. And we've got to be kingdom minded. We've got to, we've got to train our minds to listen to our spirit and um, be kingdom minded. So, so when, when we look at generosity and it, there's acts of generosity. So one day I can wake up and I can, I can act and do be a human doing, if you think of it as a, a doing word, I can, I, can, I can do an act of kindness, I can do an act of generosity. But because of this battle that's going on in our mind, we can wake up and we can actually do an act of withholding or being stingy and, and not, not giving. And I'm not only talking about money, but all, money is a big part of it. I'm talking about our time. Uh, with our words, you know, even with a smile. So we can we can do an act of kindness or we can do an act of unkindness or stinginess. So this is where the book of James says that a double-minded man is unstable. So if I can wake up and I can do an act of kindness, but then the next day do an act of unkindness, I'm actually double-minded. One day I'm thinking I'll, I'll be, be generous and then the next day I'm thinking I'll not be generous. You are unstable in all your ways. I don't want to be an unstable person. I don't want to be an unstable Christian. I want to, I want to get my mind to seek what my spirit's doing and ask my spirit, what does was God want? And God is is good, so God will always be generous. We have to not do an act of generosity. We have to be generous. We just gotta, we've gotta take the battle and 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 be generous because god is generous so therefore he wants us to be generous it's it's part of who you be we've got to train our minds just to be generous don't be double-minded be generous it's always a choice and when a choice of generosity presents itself you know you can either choose to be generous or choose to be not generous i want to be generous So let's go back to Psalm 92. You know, Cedar of Lebanon is one of the biggest trees in, in, in that region. 
and the reason it's so big is it's because it's got uh, deep roots and because it's um, a dry a dry land um, the roots of the cedars need to grow deep <clears throat> to find the water system because they've got big roots the tree is strong the tree is stable and and Psalm 92 says the righteous will flourish like a palm tree they will grow like a cedar of Lebanon God wants our lives who we be to be deep rooted in our in the church in the house of God in God's word so we can be strong and stable so when the battle of the mind presents itself we will be generous we will not do an act of not being generous God wants us to be like that stable cedar of Lebanon not double-minded so I want to encourage you today to be deep rooted in your relationships with God deep rooted planted in the house of God when you're deep rooted the battle becomes easier um, when storms and trouble hit your life instead of actually having a battle the actual root system just takes over and you will naturally just be who God wants you to be you'll be still you'll be calm and you'll be trusting in him because of your deep roots planted in the house of God your lives will flourish your generosity to God's house in your time and your money and commitment being the real you being who he wants you to be grows your roots deeper and I just want to encourage you not to be just attenders of church but I want you to be planted in church, planted in, in our house, in relationships with each other. I want to encourage you to, to get involved in small groups, in, in team, in, in being generous, in being given to the house of God. And all, all these things, all these acts just um, make your roots deeper in him and deeper in the church and help the church fulfill its mandate of preaching the gospel and deny the disciple in the nations you know we've got a city the city of manchester to reach we've got the country of england to reach and uh we need deep rooted strong stable people who are planted in the house of god um their lives flourishing their lives flourishing in generosity uh to 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 to, to reach to reach the city and the nations Thanks for listening. Let me just pray. Father, I just pray in the name of Jesus that you give us wisdom, uh, wisdom to uh, understand how to plant our lives even further in your house. Father, plant our lives in your house so our lives will flourish, our families will flourish, our children will flourish because of our deep-rooted um pressing in for for who you are for what you want i just pray father that we will not be double-minded that we'll press into who who we who we are the real part of us that part that's connected to you uh, the part that you just want us to be generous to love just to be kind just to reach reach our city and we just thank you that you're growing and developing it us every day. And Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thanks for listening. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.